Right. Today I'm going to show you how to back up your 3D images, which are .mpo files, from your 3DS or your cell phone, whatever you take your 3D pictures on. How to back those up to your computer, which is the easy part, but also to make it so that you can actually look at them as regular 2D photos on your computer without having to convert the files or without losing any data. So first, I'm just going to copy and paste these off my phone onto my computer. That does the backing up part, but on my computer, which doesn't, isn't up to a 3D screen, I can't actually look at my photos. They just say .mpo. But the structure of an MPO file is really just a couple of JPEGs on top of each other, and that's really how the file itself is structured. So in order to look at these as a regular 2D photo, all you have to do is change the file extension from .mpo to .jpeg. When you do that, the computer tries to open it as a JPEG, and since the initial file structure is a JPEG, it'll read in there and it'll pull out the first JPEG. Now, if it thinks it's a JPEG, as soon as it comes to the end of the first image, it stops reading it. So you only get the one image, which is exactly what you want on a, two, on a 2D TV. So now, without actually losing any of your data, without having to convert anything, you still have your 3D image there. Even though you change the file extension, it doesn't change the contents of the file. Now, if you have a whole lot of photos, uh, you can get file renamers, just search Google, that will go through and change all the file extensions in a certain folder from .mpo to .jpeg and then back again. So if you have a lot, I would recommend using one of those. And then you can see here, I've just changed all of them. You can see the pictures, the thumbnail shows up, you can look at them, it's all good. If you want to look at it in 3D again, you just rename it back to .mpo and all your data is still there just changed it back and now a 3D viewing program will think that it's a 3D image and it'll go through and read the whole thing. Now if you can't change the file extension, you need to go to the control panel and go to folder options. In here you're going to find an option to hide known file extensions. In Windows 7 that's checked by default so you won't be able to actually rename the extensions. So if you can't do that, head over there, uncheck the checkbox and now you'll be ready to go. So that's how to back up your images while also making them viewable.